My dear FMG friends, uh, this is Dr. Rajiv Dhawan, your ENT faculty with Dr. Royals. As you know, Dr. Royals is always with the FMG on every step of their journey towards getting a license in the country. So here we present to you certain tips from our side when you fill the application form for your very important FMG exam, what to keep in mind. Let me take you through a run through that when you open the site, you click on the FMG icon over there and then you, of course, go to the application link. First of all, you need to register for applying this examination, okay? So you can see to register, there's a red arrow over there, click over there, and then go to this particular, you know, uh, uh, page. Now, you see, you have two options. I'm an applicant or you're an agent. Of course, you know, most of the students apply themselves. So you select, I'm an applicant and submit it. They will give you certain, you know, privacy things. We're going to declare your details. So it's uh, as per the, you know, uh, internet norms that you need to give a consent to share your details and you see all these things we're going to share and you agree with that. It's a formality you have to really fulfill. Now, as we, you, you know, fill this form, which is a very crucial thing, please do not fill this form, you know, casually or randomly. Filling this form on a tablet or a mobile phone definitely would have certain problems. I would strongly recommend use a good quality laptop with good quality camera with good quality internet connection and with a you know popular browser like mozilla or mozilla or the google google chrome whatever you want to follow that but use the standard things and keep some time spare for you to fill this form because every minor thing going wrong you'll have to wait for the added window to open up and that will give you unnecessary you know anxiety that will take you away from your preparation because at the end of the day, you know, you feel a little restless what to edit, when to edit, and how to add it. So why to really generate that possibility even? So number one, use a good laptop, which should have a good camera, good internet connection, and you should have definitely a good browser over there. They have given the specification of the browser in the page itself. This is the beginning of the form. Guys, I have really got many emails in the last you know session also. Sir, so I fill my name wrongly. I think that's avoidable because you cannot edit your name. Please make sure that your name is double check, triple check. This should be same as the name in the eligibility certificate and of course in the degree also because these three things should be in synchrony because this will be published on your final pass certificate also. Everything has to be matched properly. So name should be similar for your degree for eligibility certificate and the same name you fill over here. Now, as you proceed further, you are registering yourself to fill this form first of all. So as we do for other you know, applications also, you, know, you have to give your mobile number and your email ID and then generate the OTP and that would successfully you know, load your mobile number and registered email ID onto this particular site. Guys, please use that email which you commonly you know, use. At, okay, because that, this email is very crucial for you. All the further communication will be coming to that email. Please keep checking that email in between and do not forget to check the spam folder. I've got many emails till now. So I forgot to check my stamp spam folder and the and MC mail went into that. I forgot added and the window has closed over there so make it a habit you know once you submit the form and you know you keep checking in between that any update from their side is there or not now please understand whenever you get the results also the pass certificate any communication will be coming to the same phone number same email address make it a habit to double check triple check again the phone number and the email address now once you you know generate the otp for these two things you will be you know uh, ready to register on this particular you know uh, form and register yourself moment you register yourself you will get an automatic you know password and the you know uh, user id on your email and of, of course via sms on the registered mobile number also please keep this user id password very much secure with you do not forget it do not lose it because you will be using it for multiple other things later on also. So this particular piece of information, keep it in one you know folder written or on your phone, please save it properly, the registered user ID and the password for that. Now, this is the first step. The registration is over now. Now you are ready to apply for the form. 
again go to the same site and now you have an application link can you see the red arrow over there your application link moment you click it you to log in you use the same user id password which was sent to you on your email id and the password okay uh, this email this email id this mobile number would be getting the uh, user id and password which was sent to you when you registered for the form now you open this window now again fill the name properly but personal details are very very important date of birth cannot be edited name cannot be edited and why should we leave the scope of editing actually why why cannot we make it a habit that okay we will triple check it you know like my name is correct my surname is correct and then you take you take it to another form to fill in your email id and the mobile number and then then the the form asks you what all valid i card you have like voter id card pan card driving license and of course the passport will be there so if you have them click yes please do click very you know uh, truthful information over there that's pretty okay you need not carry all these so things over there but just for the sake of it you know whatever uh, apart from passport you have it click it and on the day of the exam preferably carry it also there's no harm over there then you have to fill the identification marks for yourself on the body on the face or the any address has to be done properly it, it should have the pin code for sure do not miss any you know if you have got any particular landmark which which can really help the postal thing reach you please fill that okay correspondence address and the permanent address also if it is same it is same now guys 10 plus 2 marks physics chemistry biology you have to add the cumulative percentage of only physics chemistry biology okay the, again keep your 10 plus 2 mark list ready with you and carefully double check and calculate the aggregate cumulative average of these three subjects and fill in the last box over there you need not really add the english marks over there it's pcb only now eligibility certificate i'm sure you know it if you are before 2002 or if you are after may 2018 you don't need the eligibility certificate in between these two periods you need the eligibility certificate and please keep it ready with you and date of issue again to be double check before you you know submit the form this is really critical information then there are general questions that have you have ever been you know restricted from or deported from the country or any other thing against you you have to declare that truthfully over there and now test center should be chosen carefully guys it's ideal to submit the form at the earliest possible but not in a hurry again because centers get filled up very fast and it is served on you know first come first serve basis so uh, i would say do not be too rushed up that keep two three center in your mind but take your time so that you don't do any silly mistakes and then later on feel very anxious but yes don't delay for the last day because last couple of days are very heavy on the site and the site might be slow or crash down also in the last couple of days so better to really keep you know two three days and finish it off and really be sure that i have filled all details properly that mental piece would help you definitely uh, in the preparation of the examination also but yes don't delay it too much because centers get filled up very fast but keep two three center in your mind when you approach this particular you know page on the form now then come the documents so most important thing is document and most of the errors happen in the documents actually which yes please see there are six more or less documents required three in the pdf format and three in the jpeg format in the pdf format we need most importantly the eligibility certificate and if you are post may 2018 you would be having neat ug result with you mbbs degree certificate or provisional certificate and the passport also okay passport front and back both in the jpeg format you need the photograph the thumb impression and the signature so these six documents are very very critical again please see pdf format is eligibility mbbs degree or provisional certificate or the passport front and back and jpeg is signature thumb impression and photograph now if you see guys you have to follow all the instructions which they have given before you submit this document do not be in a hurry actually now let me tell you most of the problems occur while uploading the signature and thumb impression because either it's very feeble or it is smudged up and 
the the nb does not approve that then again added window will open you will get an email you get all butterflies what happened and all that so before you upload the signature and the uh, photograph i would say the you should read this very carefully for the signature draw a box which is approximately 1.5 cm in the height and 3.5 cm in the width take a take a plain piece of paper do that use a good blue pen or black pen with you know like which shouldn't be very smooth pen to sign okay sign it appropriately appropriately it should be very much legible very do not mark any initials this signature is very very important because you will have to duplicate the same signature in the exam hall and when you go to collect the pass certificate also so this certificate this signature should be your signature not just initial proper signature in the proper format over there and it should be done in a very dark manner on the plain white paper in the appropriate dimension of the box which is 1.5 cm to 3.5 cm in width once you do the do two three signature and select the best out of that now you have to scan it with a good you know scanner you should not use you should not use actually you know very low light over there which will create an, again a problem at least have more than 5 megapixel resolution over there because that is very important guys if you're scanning it you know if you know the specification minimum scanning you know uh, capability should be 200 dpi over there and the the file size should be minimum 50 kb to maximum 80 kb guys follow these instructions properly if you are crossing over 80 kb you are going below 50 kb they are going to send you an email that this is not acceptable again you have to do the same process why not do it properly now okay the same, this is for the signature and again for the thumb impression now guys thumb impression of the left thumb you should, should take left thumb and this should be you know the in the box height should be 3.5 cm and the width should be 1.5 cm okay and you know use either blue or the black ink and give a tight impression but it should not smudge it should not be light it should not be smudging also too much ink should not be there too less ink should not be there you must roll your thumb properly the way we do for the you know medical legal examination also i would advise make multiple boxes make multiple thumb prints and choose the best out of that okay and again when you scan it you know please choose a good scanner of 200 dpi and the size is same as you know, as the as the signature was 50 kb minimum to 80 kb maximum actually okay so this is about the signature and thumb impression why i'm taking more time because most of the you know emails which come to students are requiring the change of the signature or the thumb impression so the strongest recommendation is do multiple signature multiple thumb impression on the plain white paper with the blue or black ink not light not over smudged over ink should be there and choose the best out of whatever you have done and then scan with the very high resolution device with the proper light over there then upload but do keep in mind the size of the file should be below 80 kb and of course not below 50 kb now about the photograph you need two photographs one photograph is the passport size photograph which you already have it again between 50 kb to 80 kb now as i told you the beginning you should be filling this form from the laptop with a good quality camera they would be requiring two photograph one which you already clicked the the passport size photograph one will be real time photograph which they want you to take on that time when you filling the form that real time picture is very very important so you can see over there the two photographs they are demanding for both these photograph it's highly recommended light should be good please do not wear spectacles or goggles or do not wear too much jewelry over there also and you know it's not a photo shoot by the way <laughs> and, and and you know keep your hair tucked behind your pinna and you know face be po properly visible and make sure there's no stethoscope no cap no goggles nothing over there it should be plain simple this do not over smile give a neutral uh, you know like uh, like facial impression over there that's absolutely okay and it's a jpeg format again okay over there i hope it's clear everybody so photograph thumb impression signature is very 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 critical and remember the two photographs one real time and one passport size photograph now is this now let us go to the degree actually degree or the provisional passing certificate whatever you have it and as you must have checked on the site also that every time they have a cut off date this time it is 30th april 
2023 and always look at the information bulletin. What is the cutoff date? Your degree must clearly mention that you are all things finished before that. Actually. Now, uh, it should be apostilled and apostle stamp should also be you know, uploaded over there. And guys, please understand that this, this is PDF format uh, from 50 KB to maximum 400 KB. Have you seen one thing? No file is below 50 KB because if you go low resolution, they're going to reject that file. Again, they ask for the same file again, actually. But the PDF format, uh, this would be maximum 400 KB. Don't go below uh, behind uh, about that. Guys, please understand you have to carry the same documents in person when you go to collect the pass certificate. So be super careful what you're uploading. Double check, ask someone to check if there's someone is around it. Am, am I really doing the right thing or not? Now, then come the eligibility certificate issued by the MCI. You must have got the eligibility certificate. And if you are uh, before 2002, you don't need it. And if you are after the May 2018, uh, you must have got the NEET UG certificate, which is actually as good as eligibility certificate for you. Otherwise, you scan the document eligibility certificate issued to you by the MCI. And the, you know, like uh, it is again, lowest is 50 KB and the maximum is 400 KB. If you do not have eligibility certificate, you have yet applied for. Whatever you applied for, you must have got a receipt. Please upload that and continue with the form over there. Now, the uh, next Next would be that you have a passport. Now, passport front page and the last page should be scanned and uploaded in the PDF format, again, between 50 KB to 400 KB. Then if you look carefully, the uh, photograph, the signature, the thumb impression is between 50 to 80 KB, and the PDF all are 50 KB to 400 KB. So it's very simple. Let us follow these rules. I would say go to the higher side resolution. Don't keep it a lower side resolution because sometimes they're not able to really, you know, uh, see that clearly. They would send you an email that please upload it again. Just if, This is just to save you from undue anxiety. We would want you to focus on the preparation examination only. Now, a couple of things to, to be kept in mind. Guys, please, please understand that, you know, guys, the idea behind this, uh, uh, you know, uh, recording this video by Dr. Toyo is to make sure that each one of you devotes maximum energy to just, you know, preparation examination, not doing some, you know, uh, careless mistake in filling the form and then getting the, you know, emails and waiting for that admin to do option. That dilutes your focus. We do not want you to do that. When you make the payment, be very careful because we, when you payment doing payment, preferably do with the credit card or debit card because you know UPI based payments are getting a little bit more time to process, and then again the, the 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 amount is deducted and you do not get any information. You get very much nervous. Shall I do the another payment or not? Please do not make another payment. The UPI take more time, but credit card debit card is better. I think that we can use it and 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 most importantly. Before you submit the form, again, go through the form and check it. Why I'm saying it, uh, I don't know why, but, you know, since morning also, I've got so many messy people have submitted the form. They say, my mother name is wrong, actually. I accidentally filled wrong mother name. My spelling is wrong over there. My date of birth is wrong. My own name is wrong. And, you know, how much anxiety would be? So uh, this video is all for all those people who will be filling this form now. And let us follow these instructions and make sure that we submit our form in a proper format. And we at Dr. Doriels, our whole team, faculties, technical team, everyone, wishes all the FMGs, you know, heartfelt prayers and best wishes. You May you all pass the examination. And this is an, another initiative from our side, I would say, to make sure that you feel that you, we stand by your side at every step of your journey. Thank you very much. Best wishes. See you soon again.